questions and comments? The Honourable Member uh, Courtney Albany. Madam Speaker, we continue to hear Conservatives rise in this House and tell us that people in British Columbia are covered for diabetes medication, Madam Speaker. Becky, from my writing, she wrote, quote, our out-of-pocket cost for my son's insulin and devices comes to just over $11,000 per year. It is so expensive, sometimes the pharmacy calls me to give me a heads up about how much an order will be, as if we have an option. Without it, he will die. So something like National Pharmacare would be a game changer for us. So why are the Conservatives trying to block Pharmacare and insulin for Becky and her kid? Why? The Honourable Member Cumberland Colchester. Well, Madam Speaker, what Conservatives are doing here is pointing out to uh, voters that the NDP Liberal Coalition, and specifically the NDP part of that coalition, has sold itself out to help support its leader. That all they've done is continued to support this, uh, this Liberal government over the last nine years, and ongoing, there's difficulties. Point of order, the Honourable Member for New Westminster, Burnaby. Uh, thank you very much, Madam Speaker. As the Speaker has already ruled, that the, it, the false titles, like the Member is uh, trying to put forward, is something that is not appropriate for this House of Commons. There is no coalition, and uh, he certainly understands. So I, I understand that the Honourable Member, I understand that the Honourable Member um, did raise uh, uh, some additional information. The Speaker has not uh, ruled on it yet, and I know that he will be bringing forward a ruling. Uh, the Honourable Member for Cumberland Colchester, a very brief uh, answer, uh, answer to finish. So, uh, Madam Speaker, I think it's, it is very clear by the interventions attempted by the uh, NDP of the NDP Liberal Coalition that all they're doing is tr trying to support their own political futures in Canada. And once again, Canadian voters know better than that. They can see clearly through the thin veil that the, uh, that the NDP part of the coalition has presented and that they're not going to fall for their shady tactics anymore. Yeah, just uh, there was a word in there that I would just be mindful of what the, the honourable member used. Um, so I would just ask him to be very, very, very careful on the words that he uses in the house here. Uh, at point of order, the honourable member for New Westminster, Burnaby. Yeah, see, the member should have withdraw and apologize. I would just ask the honourable member to withdraw. Yeah, that word that he used. Speaker, I, I'm unsure which word you're referring to, but... Uh, the one that started with the S. I'm sorry? The one that so started with the S. The S word. Yes. I, I'm not sure what the S word is, Madam Speaker. I apologize for not knowing to which... Well, maybe the Honourable uh, Member can uh, approach the chair. I'm not going to repeat that it. word, but he can approach the chair. I can tell him, and then he can go back and apologize. The Honourable Member for Cypress Hills Grasslands, uh, resuming debate. Thank you very much, Madam yeah. Chair. It's always an honour and a privilege to rise in this House on behalf of the great people of Southwest uh, Saskatchewan. Again, a uh, point of order, the Honourable for New Westminster, Burnaby. Uh, you've uh, directed a Member of Parliament to approach uh, the Chair. Uh, I would hope that he would do that. I'm sure that he um, I'll give him a couple of minutes to get over here. A point of order, the Honourable Member for uh, Central Okanagan, Milkamy Nicola. Uh, Madam Speaker, as a member from British Columbia, I wanted to let you know that I support you in your role, and I believe that you can run uh, the, the House uh, as Speaker, and you don't need to have multiple reminders from other members from British Columbia. Appreciate that. I'll, uh, I'll ask the Honourable Member for Cumberland Colchester to, to come and see me for a few minutes.